Compass is a single-use sterile device that comes in a Tyvek pouch. The device needs to be turned on and calibrated. This is done by depressing the blue button on the side, and it's important to depress the button until zero, zero is displayed on the screen, and at this point, the device is calibrated to atmospheric pressure. During this process, it's important to make sure that a minimum, either the one or the other end of the device is open to atmospheric pressure. Once the device is turned on, the finder needle, typically an 18 gauge needle, is attached to one end and a standard syringe to the other end of the device. Once the device is attached to the needle and syringe, you can proceed with the insertion. The device will display a negative number during aspiration and advancement. Once the vessel is hit, the pressure should instantly rise to a positive number. You'll see the the average pressure displayed as, as, as the number, and next to it you'll see a representation of the waveform where you'll see respiratory variation. Once it's confirmed that the needle tip is indeed venous, the compass has a sealed guide wire port on the rear here where without needing to detach anything, a guide wire can be advanced through the port into the vein, allowing venous confirmation of guide wire placement. Once the guide wire is fully advanced, the device assembly can be removed in its entirety from the guide wire, and the practitioner can continue with dilation and, and uh, placement of the central venous catheter. So here again we see the needle tip in the venous system. And what we're going to demonstrate here is if the needle was advanced posteriorly through the wall of the venous system into the artery, we'll see the pressure jump suddenly, displaying the arterial pressure. And again, you can see the waveform at the top, in this case representing the heart rate.